there are only two genders. Five, four, three. There, <laughs> I told you, it's a very complicated rule set. There are only two, <laughs> there are only two genders. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, agree, disagree. Okay, I'm, um, I'm coming to you first. There are only two genders. Tell us why you think that. What is your reason for that? Um, well, this, like the other things we've discussed, it, it really depends on, we have to agree on a, a definition and a set of facts. We as in the two sides opposing um, on the argument. And the way I've understood it my whole life, um, at least before I got to college, is that gender was a synonym for sex, you know, um, and so that's that's my view. It's it, I have a biological view of it more than a social view. Okay, and when you got to college, they taught you something different. Well, it's just, I mean, look, we we had transgender students in high school, um, but it was it wasn't really the rule. It was the exception. It wasn't spoken about um, in terms of like a greater ideology. Um, and then when I got to college, of course, you know, that changed. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So there are only two genders. You were agree. And I'm going to move this just a little bit, if that's okay, so we can see the disagree. And you would disagree. Tell us why you disagree. Um, from the definitions I've read with gender, I think it, I mean, it's not the same as sex. Just a social versus biology. Okay. So, um. Where did the, where did the definitions come from? Oh well, I'm well uneducated, but um, like the dictionary or a gender studies book or Google. Okay, that's cool. Um, uh, but when you Google when you Google stuff, you get all different kinds of answers, though. No. It depends. I mean, whenever it comes to definitions, you look up a word and you put, type in definition. And, you, oh, and there's a one, that first one, that come, like a Webster's I mean, comes up? Yeah, the type thing. Yeah, yeah. And, then, you know, you'll get like one through whatever number, yeah, yeah. different definitions, usages. Yourself, like, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So, um, so you think there are more than two genders or one gender or... Well, gender, gender has more than one definition and... Uh, for discussion's sake, I choose to go with um, non like non specific sexual way whenever it comes to gender. Okay, so for you, um, how do you interpret this question? There are only two genders. Uh, there are two sexes. I think there are more than two genders. Is are sex and gender synonymous to you? Depends on the definition of gender. And what's yours? Uh, definition of gender? Yeah. Take your time. I'm putting you on the spot, so yeah. take your time. Uh, thank you. All right. So, it's, to me, how you, it's it's a personal thing where you, uh, you kind of, how you define yourself on a sexual level, like in a mentality of, like, the way that you view others on a sexual level as well. It's not quite so biological. Okay. Does it come down to uh, how you define yourself? Um, or is this the whole thing? Which, that's the okay, whole question, so, yeah. yeah, that's the whole question. I think I, wanna, I, 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 want, I don't want to misgender anybody, but you said he, he right? Uh, I, yeah. so, so, whatever he, so he asked a good question. How do you define gender? Like, what is the definition of that to you? Um, I still view it as synonymous with the term sex, but... I think more recently, I mean, you've literally seen the definitions change in the dictionary. Like Merriam-Webster, um, if you were to check some of the leading dictionaries 20 years like ago. Like race is the one that, that's changed. Yeah. So um, so if the definitions are changing, it's really hard for us to even have a discussion on the topic. I view it I view it as synonymous with, with sex. But, I mean, obviously there are people that are, you know, dysmorphic and they feel a different way. And... Um, I mean, ultimately, people are people have to be they have to make choices for themselves and be responsible for themselves. OK, so let me ask you a question. So let's say I'm thinking of someone specific and I'm sure you could think of someone, too. Let's say that someone was born a male. In other words, they have a <laughs> penis and functioning testes, but they're just super effeminate, super like like crazy effeminate. They love dresses. They're flamboyant in their mannerisms. Yep. What what would you say they're. 
in that sense, gender was still synonymous with sex? Um, from a biological standpoint, yes. From a social standpoint, uh. um, no. Um, yeah, they're more, they're more, maybe more effeminate. Um, from a biological standpoint, that doesn't change. Now, of course, there are surgeries um, that doesn't change chromosomes, but it changes the outward appearance. Okay, so how do we know whether or not to in whether or not to interpret that question sec through the the lens of sex or through the realm of gender or culture? Like, how do we know how to interpret that? Like, why did you choose to stand in the agree? Good, everybody's no one's cheating. That's good. Yeah, I chose based on my own definition, and a lot of people, especially now, more and more people seem to have the opposite definition. They have a social definition of gender. They've completely separated it, whereas I haven't. Um, okay, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him that. So, there are only two genders. Would you be willing to consider? And it's 100 percent okay if you're not. Gender is synonymous with sex, like he said. Uh, it's like discussing on like just like no like the like if I'm born with a penis and functioning testes, mm -hmm. then then the gender and sex are identical in that case. Well, language is tricky. It, indeed, it is. Um. Because to my understanding, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think that's his argument. Is that your argument, basically? That language is tricky? Or that those no. two things are synonymous? No, I agree with that, too. We're what? arguing over language. Yeah. So, in other words, I'm going to ask both of you guys. Hold on. We're not doing the game yet. You can come to the next round, though. You can come. Oh, you can jump in? Okay. Well, hold on. I'm going to come back to you. Okay. So, you want to jump in? Okay. So, you got to stand on a line. You can move anytime you want. Those are the only two rules now. You think you strongly agree there are only two genders? Are you a Portland State student? Uh, yes, I am. Amazing. Okay. Uh, tell us why you think that. Um, I just think, I mean, like you were just saying, I think uh, gender and biological sex are synonymous. Oh, that was that he was saying that. I was just repeating what he was saying. I guess I agree with that. Yeah. Why? Um, I would just say, uh, I guess that's how we've always looked at it throughout all of history. And I feel like it's only recently where we've started to change the wording about it. So uh, from, what, from my understanding is that gender has always been looked at from like the perspective of language, like language can be gendered. Um, for instance, in like Latin languages. Right, like L and La. Yeah. Just watched the new Batman last night. There was a whole thing about that. It was yeah. a terrible movie, but I watched it. <laughs> okay, so there, so for the there are only two genders. But so if you say like that's the way you've always looked at it, but we've always looked at things throughout all cultures. Like slavery was acceptable c cross culturally until very recently. So you, you can't really give a historical argument for that, right? Or no? Um, I would say that's different because I think uh, like gender, or I guess how I would like sex, biological sex is self evident, which we would, well, for instance, with slavery, they obviously saw it was self-evident that all people are created equal, right? Okay. Okay. Are you buying? Are you buying any of those arguments? Does it, do any of those arguments convince you to move to slightly disagree? For, no. What That's would it? Question. What argument would you have to hear to move you to slightly disagree? What would? What would you have to? What would that? What piece of evidence? What reason? Um, what reasoning would you have to hear to change your opinion? Oh, for a whole lot of people to come to an agreement on the definition of the same words and like, be like, okay, these two words mean the same thing. Because you get gender and sex on paperwork, different pieces of paperwork, one piece of paper will say what's your gender, another one will say what's your sex. And uh, just like different people have different interpretations, so are you buying the historical argument that this is the way it's been for, I don't know, I don't want to say thousands of years, but certainly a, a long time? No, because language changes. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you guys a question. I'm going to ask you guys, what would ta don't cheat. What would, ta what would it take you to move from the agree to the slightly agree or from the strongly agree to the agree? What, 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 what evidence would you have to hear? Um, if we could agree on a set definition um that's what he said i think so i think like 
language is is the problem, as with all of these hot button social issues. Um, if the definitions are changing, it's really hard for to bridge the divide. That's what he said. So, yeah. so for you, it's a language thing. Yeah, yeah. I think um, you know, if we were having this conversation twenty years ago, I might be right there. If we're having this conversation twenty years from now, and that ideology has sort of taken over, um, I might be over there. I mean, it, it. I would hope that I could, you know, combat the purveying ideology. But I mean, we're social creatures, and we we tend to go along with others. Okay. Um, what would it take for you to move from strongly agree to agree? Um, I guess I kind of agree with them as well, is that uh, I just feel like um, there isn't a set definition. Oh, you're going to take off? All right, thank you for, appreciate your coming, hanging out. Likewise, thank you all so much. Right uh, so I feel like there, there isn't a set definition and that uh, it's always changing or when uh, people believe, I guess, on the other side of the argument, uh, whenever they're asked a question about, like, how many genders are there or, um, like, they would say, like, Will, and the bottom line, it would be like, oh, there's infinite. You can do, you can pick whichever gender you want, which I just don't see as like clear. That's just. So what would like what would you would you have to hear a reason, an evidence, a piece of an argument? Like what would it take for you to move not all the way over there, just one line, just one line? I guess if they told me how many genders specifically there were, and then which I don't, which I don't think they can do, in my opinion. So I guess I can't. I, I, can't, I can't think of anything that would change my opinion, I guess. But if you had some friends. Oh, you're giving me the finger? Hi. I'm standing in front of the social work building. I'm harming individuals by asking that question. Well, you want to come down and have a conversation about it? Why do you want to come down and have a conversation? Oh. <laughs> okay, so what would it take for you to move to the strongly agree? Um, like I said, um, if, we could, if we could all agree. I just want to say, like, that's part of the problem of where, where people aren't talking. Because if you talk about these hot-button issues, especially with gender ideology, I mean, people think that you're discounting their them as a person you know that you're really harming people and it's just no we're talking i don't have any problem with anybody they gave it, they gave me the finger yeah <laughs> they're gonna do that. that that's the problem they think you're you're harming them they probably really believe that you're personally doing harm by talking about these things which we're just talking you know? they didn't want a conversation either because they're positive they know the truth yeah and that's that's part of the problem but we we obviously don't know the truth because we can't we can't agree we have different views on definitions and we we can't we're just having conversations do you think i'm harming people by asking this question no not at all <laughs> are do, do you so let, i'm just going to take a switch i'm going to what did you think of that give buddy giving me the finger and telling me i'm harming people I'm, do you feel harmed no i do not at all i think they're just shutting down conversation which it's what's your major here uh electrical engineering uh, so you probably don't get a lot of that silliness. No, not really. <laughs> you no, probably no. talk about electrical engineering in your electrical engineering classes. Exactly. A lot of math. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of math. I'm not very good at that. Okay, so um, but do you, so real quick before, do you find that attitude common here? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Does it bother you? Uh, I guess, uh, ironically, it makes me uncomfortable that them saying that uh, I guess it's harming people makes me feel like I can't give my opinion here on campus openly. And you have to reevaluate, sorry, you have to reevaluate what you're saying, like, oh, am I actually harming somebody? And you have to sort of, sort of think, like, oh, no, no, I'm just having a conversation. I'm not harming anybody, you know. Wow. Um, oh, don't cheat, don't cheat, gonna lie. Sorry. Okay, so from what he said and what you guys are saying, this is kind of a, a definitional thing, right? You, need a, you would need a definition, and you'd need to know what those categories were like yeah. so I, someone would have to come and say well there's like i don't know demisexual or some other kind of like pan i don't know i don't even know what they would be myself but well i know they they have like i don't know i guess they have definitions for each one what i'm saying is when they say there's an infinite amount and then 
right. I don't know, when they say you can just like switch in between them whenever you want, like I just feel like that isn't clear at all. It's just more, I think it's just more confusion in my opinion. And if they were to provide that clarity, that would be helpful to you as opposed to say what just happened. I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, I appreciate that. And I'm sorry we were, we were interrupted. Um, but that's basically the exercise. The exercise is you take a claim, can be any claim on the board, you ask how confident you are, ask what it would take you to move. I think this is, I think I agree with what he said. I think this is a complicated claim because like you, when I, you know, I, what you said about sex and gender, I, I do think it's a complicated claim because it depends on how you define the word. And everybody's defining the word according to their own political little football. So it's not like we can, we're having, it's not like we're having a conversation about what the definition should yeah. be. It's like everybody's forwarding their, quite frankly, their deranged notions of what this should be. They're, they're just trying to shove it down your throat. So, all right, cool. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks. Right.